Okay, so this is long overdue, but I'm actually gonna clean my uh, paddleboard, my NS2 or NSP 11 foot two. Um, ever since I picked it up, there's been a hole in the front, which I lovingly and tenderly patched with white duct tape for now. Uh, but it's just really dirty, you know? It doesn't really affect the way it serves and stuff, but a lot of dirt on it. So I'm gonna clean it up, get this thing looking spick and span, and then uh, maybe I'll do a review video at some point in the future. But got some extra time today. Gonna go to town with a washcloth, and I'll be able to see where any other spots are once the dirt is all off. So hopefully this uh, thing will actually get clean. Cut to time lapse, here we go. cannot be cleaned um, but the good that came is that I saw some of the spots that need to be sort of fixed I got some rail guard coming I'm gonna put down the rails for some of those spots and put some duct tape on some of the spots for now but uh, really the only thing that just happened during that time lapse was this one and this one got in trouble for fighting and hitting each other so uh, that's where we're at and uh, yeah, let's see what's next. Good morning world, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Today's one of those rare occasions where I have a little bit of free time and a whole lot of ambition. So I'm gonna go down to the pier and see if I can catch some waves. I got my new suit, well it's not a new suit. I got my new boots on, I can get my gloves on, my new hood, and I'm gonna try out Surfline Sessions on my Apple Watch. So here we go. I'm gonna bring a paddleboard just in case and a foamy. It's looking small. I'm about to get it right now.
definitely caught a few good waves. Overall, it wasn't the greatest day, but there were some guys out there on surfboards catching waves. Um, kind of made me wish I would have just gone out on my surfboard instead of the paddleboard. Uh, but once I was out there, I didn't really feel like I only had it, you know, I only had an hour or so out there, so I didn't feel like going back in and swapping out or anything because I would have wasted more time. So. Uh, plus, there there was like 10 guys out there on surfboards, so the odds of catching good waves would have been fewer. Um, yeah, so I'm on my way back. i got to pick up the kids, and then um, I'm going to check out some of the waves on Surfline Sessions and see what came out of it. So stay tuned for that. Here we go. So I'm back and I'm editing this video, this vlog, um, the one that you're currently watching. Kind of a weird thing to think about. I'm editing what you're watching right now. Hmm. But um, I uh, I realized in the vlog, um, I was saying like, hey, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna do this Surfline Sessions thing. I did do the Surfline Sessions thing. Um, I was actually thinking about making it like a review video for Surfline Sessions. Unfortunately, uh, it did not work properly. In, let me explain. It did work. Um, it tracked all my waves. It tracked the um, length of them, the speed of them, the, and, and how many I got. And, and it showed me on the map where I got them all. Oh, that was great. Uh, unfortunately, though, every single wave that I caught, uh, except for half of one, which I didn't bother to put in the vlog, Half of one of them was caught on camera. The other ones were not because I was either outside of the range of the camera, like I was surfing outside of uh, where the camera could actually see and they were breaking out there. Or it was just because uh, on a lot of them, the camera was just pointing to the other side of the beach. So uh, a lot of the cameras here in North Carolina, the surf line cameras, they'll like zoom out sort of and have like a center shot. Then they'll pan over to one side of the beach and zoom in. And then they'll zoom back out, go back to center shot, pan over to the other side of the beach and zoom in. And unfortunately, every single wave I caught was either when the camera was panned to the other side of the beach or panned center to where you couldn't see anything but the pier. Or uh, in, in one case, um, or in a lot of cases, I was just outside of the view of the camera's reach, even if it was panned on the right-hand side. So... Um, not not a huge success for the surfline camera thing um but i will try it next time um uh, next time i go and see if see if i can have any better luck when i have some luck i want to review it and do a review video because i haven't actually seen any review videos out there of surfline sessions yet uh, i'm probably going to review this strap too which is the the urban armor gear um strap that they say you're supposed to use um quick quick review right here it worked great it didn't break and uh, the Apple Watch is indeed waterproof, at least for one session. So there we go. That was the sub surfing session I had out there. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for a review video for Surfline Sessions. And um, also next time, I'm probably going to regular surf. Or don't tell anybody, wind surf. But we'll see how that turns out. I got to take care of these kids. They're losing control. <laughs> that concludes this vlog. <laughs>